Hello and welcome to Disney Makes Coloring. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I'm so excited to be here with you today. So today is my favorite video to film and my favorite video to watch. It is my May completed pages and wrap up video. So if you're new here, um, this channel is all about coloring and all things coloring. Um, and this video, I'm gonna show you my wrap up and all the pages that I completed this month. Um, so I'm gonna start with my wrap up. Let me get to it. Here we go. So I know it's hard to see, I wrote in light colors. <clears throat> the top is all the videos that I filmed. I did 17 videos this month. Um, I, this is my social media stats and this is just for me. It's just for fun, but I'll share it with you. Um, I started the month with 1535 YouTube subscribers. I ended with 1631. So I gained 96 subscribers. Instagram. I started with 1325. Um, I ended with 1362. I gained 37 followers on, in my Facebook group that I share with Amanda from Amanda Colors. Um, her and I, it's called Color With Us. We would love to have you join us if you're not already um, in our group. We started the month with 670 friends. We en um, have ended the month with 818 friends. We grew 148 friends, which is amazing. We are so excited. Um, we do all kinds of fun things. I'll keep talking about it as we go through my completed pages on our um, in our Facebook group. So... I completed 60 pages. I actually technically completed more than that, but I'm saving some of them for June. Um, I'll tell you about that also later on. I colored in 44 different coloring books. I had 31 buddy colors with friends, 31 friends buddy colors. And out of those 31 friends, I colored 35 pages. So more than half of my pages were buddy colors. I completed 11 challenges and prompts and I colored in seven untouched coloring books. That's that's not so good. I want that to be higher because I have a lot of untouched coloring books. So yeah, we are going to start with the PDFs or the loose pages that I have. Um, they, um, I have my notebook here, so if you hear me turning pages and stuff. This is all of my notes because I like to be organized. So we are going to start with the PDFs. So here is, let's see. Whoops, wrong way. Sorry. Wrong way. All right. So here's the first one. This is from the Disney AVC coloring book. And I pick a page out of this book each month to go with my AVC color challenge. And um, there are a couple of people that join me in this group buddy color. And um, those people are Amanda from Amanda Colors, Joanna from Jojo Zohana, Stephanie from Stephanie Butterfly Cat 82, and Jamie from Jamie's Coloring Love. Um, I only have three of those buddies pictures. Um, Jamie is not completing hers this month. So I will take a minute right here and I will show you everybody's Kristoff pages. Okay, I don't know if they're done. It's like a little uh, slideshow thing. I'm gonna keep talking. So again, this is for my ABC color challenge. For those of you who don't know, on Instagram, I do an ABC color challenge. It is hashtag makes ABC color challenge 2023. And I pick a letter of the month each, a letter of the alphabet each month. For the month of May, um, it was the letter K. So here is Kristoff. I used um, ink tents. And uh, yeah, I used all ink tents and I did this. I believe I did this with you all on camera. I may not have, but I think I did. Um, if I didn't, I apologize. I might not have this month. 
I don't remember. Anyway, so it's all ink tents. And then my white paint pen for all the white. Um, I have some stickles. These are those icicles that they go through. And I love that scene. And I do washi tape in the letter on all of them. I need to do a video where all I do is the washi tape so I can show you how I do it. Um, it's not easy, I'll tell you that. You have to have a really good X-Acto knife. And sometimes you do cut through the paper, but yeah. And also, for those of you who are new here, I put a hidden Mickey in all of my completed pages. I don't it didn't in this one because it is in the washi tape. I don't know if you can see that. There are Mickeys in this washi tape. So yeah, so this is Kristoff from the Disney ABC Coloring Book. This next one I have is from Frogs and Friends by Chris Reiniak. Amanda Colors and I, um, we have a color along each month. We pick a page out of the book and there is a color along. It's hashtag Frogs and Friends color along and we would love for you to join us. That is both on Instagram and in our Facebook group. And um, I will do a separate video where I will show a little slideshow and then we'll color for the month of June's page that we picked. But anyway, this is the page we picked for the month of May. Um, it went with my ABC color challenge, K for Kitty. And um, I just used Ohuhu's and glossy accents. It says I used my white, gel, oh I did, my white gel pen and then his eyes, the frog's eyes, and I, this was a soda that spilled. I put, I don't know if you can see that, um, yeah, you can, the glossy accents. And there is my hidden Mickey is on the soda can. It's a Mickey soda. Um, the next one I have is Mystic Art Mirrors. This is the fairy tale princess book. Um, I have the PDF book. And this is a buddy color with Amanda from Amanda Colors. This is an untouched book. This is my first one out of this book. I love it. Ariel and Flounder. I did this, we did this for Mermaid. And uh, for Spicy Cat Colors, Kathy from Spicy Cat Colors, she does a Disney hashtag, Spicy Cat Disney. And this month it was Little Mermaid. So this works for that. I used um, Prismacolors. I used some Jelly Roll Glaze on the bubbles and some Stardust I used on the necklace and the little hair jewels and on her face. And let's see. It says I used Sparkle Pop, but I don't think I did. Oh, yes, I did. On Flounder, there is silver uh, on Flounder. So that's Sparkle Pop. And then White Paint Pen. I'm guessing right on her eyes. My Hidden Mickey is right here on Flounder's belly. And Glossy Accents on their eyes. And Washi Tape. Um, I will show you Amanda's here. I love how Amanda did hers. I love it a lot. I should have stopped coloring her skin here. I don't know why I continued it down. I shouldn't have, or I should have drawn in her seashells. Anyway, I tried to fix it with the washi tape, but yeah, I love how Amanda's turned out though. Yeah, there's that one. The next one I have, this is a freebie from Color Caramel. It was for Cinco de Mayo. I colored it for Cinco de Mayo. Um, I just used my, I used my Copics, my Ohuhus, and let's see, there's um, some Sparkle Pop on the guitar and on the skull there. And yeah and white paint pen for the white spots. And my hidden Mickey is on the little doggy's booty. That was fun. But again, that was a freebie from Colored Caramel. If you um, are a part of their email, I don't, I think it's either, I don't know. I get 
they send you freebies all the time if you're a part of their emails, if they send you emails. This next one was a color challenge that Amanda from Amanda Colors and I did. Um, we were going to do, we're doing something a little different starting in June, but we were doing a color challenge each month. But we um, had someone else pick five different markers for us, and those were the only markers we were allowed to use on our page. I had my husband Aaron pick them out. Um, I have this on a video, so you'll have to watch it to find out, because these were not his original five colors. Um, yeah, it, it's okay. Um, I'm not too happy with the fluorescent orange. Um, thinking I should have done it a little bit different, but I didn't. Hidden Mickey is here on the star. And it's just with, um, he picked like one of each kind of my alcohol markers. So that's Ohuhu's, Copics, um, Arctic's, Caliart. Yeah. This next one, I gotta flip my page. This is um, from Hannah Lynn, Mermaids, Fairies, and More. This is a buddy color with my friend Nikki from Knickknack Colors 18 on Instagram. I will put hers here so you can see it. Um, I chose the page. I thought the little monkeys were so cute. I did, let's see. So, and I also did this for Mermaid, hashtag Mermaid. I used Neo Color 2's in the background. Arteza Experts on the Mermaid. I have um, a white paint pen for accents. I have some stickles on her shirt. This little purple, it's purple stickles. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. And then I have glossy accents. This one, um, oh no, that's a bubble. On all the bubbles and then all the eyes. The eyes of the fish, the monkeys, and the mermaid. And then washi tape. This is a mermaid scale holographic washi tape. And it has bows on it, but you can't really see them. Yes, Nikki's turned out really cute. Uh, my hidden Mickey, where is my hidden Mickey? Do you guys see it? Did I not do one on this page? It's missing. I don't see it. If I did one, I don't think I did. Whoopsie. So this one does not have a hidden Mickey. I'll have to go back and add one. This one is another Hannah Lynn. And I'm not, I cannot remember what book this is from. It's either the same book or it's the Maui Mermaids one. I think it's the Maui Mermaids one. Yeah, but um, I realized afterwards I did not um, color the little border. But this is a buddy color with Liz from Liz at Home. Um, here on YouTube, she's also on Instagram. I'll put hers here so you can see hers. Our little mermaid here playing the ukulele. Wonder if she's singing the Somewhere Over the Rainbow song. I love that song. Um, this one is for um, Mermaid again. On mine, I used my Arctic pencils. Um, I have my white paint pen for accents. And yeah, the jewelry is Link glitter pens, glitter gel pens. And then I do have a little bit of Sparkle Pop here and the chain of this one is, I don't know if you guys can see that. Hidden Mickey is here in the water. Oh, I found my hidden Mickey. It's right there. See, I didn't forget. I did find it. 
The next two I have here are from the Disney Graffiti. Uh, it's the Grand Block, one of the Grand Block books. This is Ariel. This one is a buddy color with Susie from at Sue Bear Wolf 16. I will put hers Ariel here. We decided to color any Ariel page. And I, I wanted to color this one. So this is the Ariel I chose. And um, I did it. It also works for Mermaid and for Kathy from Spicy Cat Colors, her Spicy Cat Disney again for Little Mermaid. And then my Facebook group that I share with Amanda called Color With Us. We do a Disney scavenger hunt and a regular prompt scavenger hunt every week. And one of the weeks, actually I believe it's this week, so if you're not part of our group and you want to come join us, um, this week is the prompts for the Disney prompt is Ariel and the regular prompt uh, scavenger hunt is mermaid. So this worked for both of them. And I used my ink tents, my Neo color twos, white paint pen for accents and some glossy accents on some of the bubbles. I didn't do all the bubbles and then her eyes. But yes. And Susie's Ariel turned out really cute too. I didn't, I, I should have done a background. I, I, I didn't know what to do. And um, I know I've said this in every video recently. Here's my hidden Mickey, by the way. I had a month. So I was way behind. And so I was trying to get everything done by the end of the month. I did it. I finished. I hopefully if I missed any buddy color, I am so, so sorry. Yeah, I'm still struggling, but I will be okay. Anyway, so yeah, moving on. This next one here, which I absolutely love. I gotta turn my page. This is King Candy from Wreck-It Ralph. From the same book, the Disney Graffiti book. I enjoyed coloring out of this so much. I actually have two separate buddy colors in this book for the month of June, I'm excited. So this is a buddy color with Kathy from Spicy Cat Colors. I do not have her page yet. She's working on it. Um, she wasn't sure she was gonna get it done. She's had to work a lot, so um, no worries. Uh, when I do get it, I will post both of them on my Instagram so you guys can see them. Um, this one actually works also for my ABC color challenge for the letter K for King Candy. I believe on this one, I used my Ink Tents and my Neo Color 2s. I have my white paint pen for accents. The Hidden Mickey is here. And then uh, Link and Sparkle Pop on King. And um, there's gold and purple. I don't know if you guys can see the sparkliness and the crown. Well, just the top part of the crown is Sparkle Pop. This, this is supposed to be chocolate. But I, I like how this one turned out. I like how I did, and I, yeah, I didn't do any shading with pencils. I tried to do it all with my ink tents and my Neo Color 2s. I'm enjoying using those. You guys can probably tell. That was the last uh, PDF loose book. So now we're moving on to books. The first book I have for you is Romantic Country by Erie. This is the first tale. This is the book um, we are going to be doing on my channel, a full book color along. So we did our first page um, in May and we colored the map. Um, yeah, I need to get out my, my bucket of tags. So they have somewhere to go. All right. So I used, um, I did this with you all. So if you watched it, you already know. I used Distress Inks and I used uh, my Black Widows. And I tried to make it look like an old pirate map. Uh, I did my hidden Mickey down here on the bottom. I really like how it turned out. I like it a lot. Yes. Can't wait to see if you colored with me some of your guys' maps. 
what you did with your map. But yes, give me just one second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I know that was only a second for you guys, but anyway. So yeah, so that was Romantic Country, the first tale. The next book I have for you is Tales from the Forest Kingdom by Hannah Carlson. So this works for my ABC Color Challenge for Hannah Carlson for the illustrator. And um, I did this as a color along with all of you. My Mr. Tumnus from The Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe. Um, I love the way that I'm not too happy with the frame, but I like the way he turned out. I used my Neo Color 2s, my Black Widows, some Sparkle Pop along the frame, and white pink pen. And the Hidden Mickey is in his ear. But there is Mr. Tumnus. That was Tales of the Forest Kingdom by Hannah Carlson. Next one I have is Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. This is a book that... Um, is a project book with Amanda from Amanda Colors and I and Jamie from Jamie's Coloring Love. And we're also adding for the month of June a new friend, Diane. We are so excited to have her join us. And we color um, two pages out of this book each month and we're going from front to back. So starting at the beginning, we're going in order. So for the month of May, we did these two pages I'm gonna tell you about mine and then I will show you Amanda's um, Jamie um, we do not have hers yet so I have Amanda's to show you so I will show you hers in just a minute I use my uh, black widows in this book every month and yeah I love um, this my words. I've got to find my words. I am not a fan of coloring repetitive pages. And these, this book has a lot of those. So it is a struggle for me, but I did it. <laughs> I did it. I learned something also this month. Um, this is pan pastels. It's um, like a yellow color that I have. Uh, my, I used my link glitter gel pen for the dots of these little flowers. And I waited till they were dry before I did the pan pastels because I had nothing on it and I decided it, it needed something. It smeared, even though they were dry. It smeared my uh, gel pens. I was so bummed, like you can see some smear here. It smeared some over here and some over here. And I waited till it was dry, so. Doesn't matter if they're dry. I don't know if it's the brush. I, I don't know what did it. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, it's Black Widows. Um, this was Pan Pastels. And we have some um, Sparkle Pop and Jelly Roll Stardust. And yeah. This is next month's. Ah! So I will show you Amanda's. These are my uh, my cheat sheet here. And this is, Amanda and I are going with a certain color palette. We're using this as this little one. Anyway, here's Amanda's picture. They both turned out, I like how she left her flowers white. I like that a lot. I should have done that. It would have been less coloring. All right, next I have 50 Easter and Spring Fairy Houses by Camellia Angelkova. Um, I have one page out of here. I colored this one, one for my ABC color challenge for Camellia. Two, it was another one of our scavenger hunt prompts in our Facebook group for Path. So here is the path to the beehive. There is my 
hidden Mickey. He's not very hidden. He's quite large. Um, I loved this page. I think it's so cute. So, and it is just with my Copics and Ohuhus and a white paint pen for accents. Yep. There is that one. The next one I have is Matchstick Mouse, a floral coloring book by Morgan O'Brien. This one is a buddy color. This is a buddy color with Michaela from at Michaela Colors and Creates. Um, she is on Instagram. She also does have a YouTube channel, which she is about to get. She hasn't been filming for a while, but she is about to start putting um, videos back up on her channel. So I'm looking forward to that. And I will put Michaela's here so you can see hers. Uh, so cute. I should have changed this to be, I don't know, a different color because he blends in. So it looks like he's just got, he's like um, Templeton, you know, in Charlotte's in the Web when Templeton eats too much food and he gets really, really fat. <laughs> I know this is a mouse, not a rat, but that's what it reminds me of. Even though he's not. She's little. Uh, but yeah, it blends in. And there's Wilbur the Worm. And I know there's a hidden Mickey somewhere. Oh, it's right here. There it is. And she's got some bumblebee friends. Sunflowers. What did I use? I used my Ohuhus. My white gel pen for the accents. I have stickles on all the bees' wings. Yeah. And that is it. And this is one of my, well, so is Ivy and the Inky Butterfly and Eerie. Those are some of my 10 books to complete eventually. And this also, oh, there was a hashtag this month. Um, it was Matchstick Mouse Color Along 23, created by Anna, at Coloring with Anna. So, yeah, that went towards that. Um, the next one is Matchstick Mouse, a springtime coloring book. I have three pages in here. This first one is my hedgehog page. This is a buddy color with my friend Judith on um, Instagram. She's also a subscriber on my channel. I will put Judith here so you can see her lovely page. So cute. I, yeah... I don't know. I don't like how I colored it. I messed up a little bit. But that's okay. They can't all be perfect, right? Here's my hidden Mickey. I just used my Ohuhus and a white gel pen. And Judas looked amazing, too. And next one I did was this one. Just because I wanted to do this one. Um, it's one of my favorite favorites. I think it's so, so cute. Here's my hidden Mickey. It again is Ohuhu's and my white gel pen. So, so cute. And then I got to turn my page. We have another buddy color. This is a buddy color with my friend Tamara. From at Olson TM22022. I will put hers here so you can see it. So cute painting the bucket. I used my favorite color, well, color combo there red and teal or turquoise and orange. I like orange and turquoise, and I like red and turquoise together. I did both of them. It is just my Ohuhu's, my white gel pen, and then, um, it is my Jelly Roll Stardust, the clear. I did it a bunch of different places. Hid Mickey is here. Some of my pages this month, you will see, have two Hid Mickeys. Because I go through them all before I do this video to make sure I did my Hid Mickey. And if I can't find it, I add another one. And then I'm like, oh, I found it. <laughs> Frustrating. So, next book I have is Mermaid 
chibi girls. I have three completed in here. Here is the first one. This one is for another fun thing we do in our Facebook group. Every Tuesday is Title Page Tuesday. So we um, color our title pages and post them on our in our Facebook group. So every Tuesday. So this was one of the Tuesdays for my Title Page Tuesday. I didn't get very many of them in because I was really trying hard to get my buddy colors done. I have, see, I already had one here, but I couldn't find it. So there's another one here. <laughs> this is one that has two hidden Mickeys. And if you want to count this one down here, it's like an upside down one. But no, not really. Anyway, she's really cute. Works for Mermaid. I um, used my Ohuhus and then Sparkle Pop. There's some glitter and shine there. My white and my white gel pen for accents. I like this book. And this is an un, was an untouched book. This next one, La Mermaid with the Turtles. This is a buddy color with my friend Cindy from Cindy Peel One on Instagram. I will put hers here so you can see it. I tried, was trying out my blending with my new Copics and yeah, I'm struggling, but I will figure it out. The hair worked. I did like the ombre hair from yellow to orange. Hidden Mickey is down here at the very bottom. Um, but yeah, my, my Copics and then white gel pen for accents. And then my next one here that looks very streaky. <laughs> this one, oh, excuse me, I think I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Sorry. This one um, is a buddy color with Stephanie from at Stephanie Butterfly Cat 82 on Instagram. I will put Stephanie's here. I love how hers turned out. Um, I like mine, well, no, I wasn't happy with it. Again, I was working on my blending with my Copics. Um, it didn't work so well on the hair. I'm not really sure what I'm doing wrong. Um, I did it while it was still wet, like they're supposed to. I need to take some Copic lessons because they are not the same as my Ohuhus. They work very differently. Um, my white gel pen again for accents. And then the background. I tried something different. I'm going to show it to you. I used, I used this. This is the Spectrum Noir Sparkle Brush Pen. The color is Teacup. And it's just a brush nib. It's actual brush. Like a paintbrush. It's kind of like a water brush. But it has glitter paint in it and that's the background but it's I went over and over it trying to get the streaks and it didn't work so it turned out streaky but it looks cool I mean, it's very sparkly and shiny hidden Mickey is here but yeah that's what I have in mermaid chibi girls this next book is uh, one of my 10 books to complete eventually. I have quite a few in here. First one I have for you is Mike Wazowski. This one is actually the Monsters University, I think, because the M is for the Monsters University. Anyway, um, I colored this one for uh, the Facebook group that I have with Amanda. We... Um, this was one of the Disney scavenger hunts was Mike Wazowski. And there he is. It is all done in ink tints. And then my hidden Mickey is with the white gel pen. I'm really having fun with my ink tints and my neo colors. And I use them a lot in this book. This handles it very well. And I learned that my one of my favorite ways to activate is with the Tombow blender pen. Next one I have is Kristoff here. Um, this one is actually 
also one of the Disney scavenger hunts in our Facebook group, but this is also a buddy color. This is a buddy color with, I forgot to turn my page over. This is a buddy color with Michaela from Michaela Renee Coloring. We picked Kristoff. So I will put her Kristoff here so you can see it. I love how, um, I love it when we pick a character to see what pages you guys pick. I wonder, does anybody ever actually end up picking the same page? Wouldn't that be fun? Anyway, so here we go. This again is Ink Tense. And um, the diamonds, crystals, or whatever these are, these are nine, my Neo Color 2s because I have more pastel colors. Um, that's one thing that Inktense, well, I don't have the new colors, but they don't have a lot of like really light, pale, pastel-y colors. But I do in my Neo Colors. And then my white paint pen. And Mickey is down here. And yeah. It looks good. Next one. This is a new guy. I didn't know his name started with a K. This is um, Keon or Kion from one of the Lion King movies, not the first one. Um, but this is a buddy color uh, with my friend Sabi from at Coloring Sabi on Instagram. She's the one that introduced me to this character. So we color this one together. I will put Sabi's here so you can see hers. Again, I used my ink tents. My hidden Mickey is here. And a white gel pen. And then the next one I have is Belle. Beautiful Belle. This is a buddy color with Deb from Mrs. Sweet's Crafting Therapy. I will put Deb's Belle here. I love that we did two different bells, but, um, yeah, I did not do this on purpose on her eyes. Um, I somehow touched it and smeared it and that's sad, but it kind of looks like her eyes are glistening because it's <laughs> smeared like that. Whoops. I used Prismacolors on Belle. She's all Prismacolor. And then the King Art gel sticks for the pink in the background and then Jelly Roll, not Jelly Roll, Sparkle Pop for all the gold. And Mickey is over here. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I believe I have one more. Last but not least for this month is Baloo. Here he is. Um, he is for our Facebook group. He was one of the Disney scavenger hunt prompts this month. Um, my hidden Mickey got smeared, but it was right here. <laughs> it looks like a white blob. I'll have to fix that. But he is totally ink tense and Neo Color 2s. And that's it for the, this is the Small Squares Disney Portraits. Because just so you know, the Disney Portraits comes in all their sizes of books. So so if you ask me to do a buddy color in the Disney Portraits book, you're going to have to tell me which one because there's a lot of them. The next one is Color Some Sweetness Flowers. And this one... Let's see. By Carlin Douglas was for my ABC color challenge, but it was also Facebook prompt was a uh, scavenger hunt prompt for koala. I know it's not a bear. I really want to say koala bear, but I've been told multiple times that they're not bears. It's just a koala. I'm working on that. Amanda, I'm working on it. I'm struggling, but I'm working on it. So... Yes, isn't he cute? It's turned out streaky. And, uh, yeah. Oh, well. That's okay. It was my Copics and a white, my white, um, oh, it feels like my, it's my white paint pen. 
And him, Mickey, is on his little leg there. But yeah, he's so cute. And I'm sad that, because I was collecting these and now they are no longer available on Amazon. Along with other fun companies. It's just a sad day. Um, next book is Kawaii Doodle Cuties Animals Coloring Book for Kids with Letters A to Z. This is a group buddy color that I am in with D from Colorful Dreams, um, Instagram, and on YouTube, and Jamie from Jamie's Coloring Love. Um, D was unable to complete her page this month, which is totally okay. I understand. Um, life happens. And, um, but I do have Jamie, so I will put Jamie's here so you can see it. But this is the letter K for my ABC color challenge. It has some ko a koala in it. But I used Ohoohoo's. And then the background is Distress Inks. This is washi tape. And my white paint pen. And there is my hidden Mickey up there. I like the way Jamie's turned out too. There's that one. Next one I have is, this is called the Coloring Trip Adventures of the Blossom Elves. This is the newest one by Crystal Vogel. This is a bunny color. Um, this is a buddy color with my friend Louise from at Color Books and More. I will put hers here so you can see it. She chose this page for my ABC Color Along because they are knitting scarves or blankets or something. Um, and it goes with, I don't know the hashtag, but I know that I believe it's Liz at home has a pastel hashtag don't know it I'm so sorry but I used all pastels for this and yeah turned out really 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 cute I used my star joy golds I think this is really like one of the first times I've used that set and then stickles there are stickles all over well, anywhere there was those um, on all the wings and all the little whatever these are around their heads, around the bugs. But yeah, the hidden Mickey is here. But yes, I'm enjoying this book. It is very, very cute. The next one I have is Broken Circles by Tabitha Barnett. This is a buddy color with Christina from Christina's Art Corner here on YouTube and on Instagram. And we did this mermaid page for Mermaid. I'll put hers here so you can see it. <clears throat> I used on mine my ink tents for the background and then the rest of it is my Prismacolors. Um, I did my Jelly Roll Glaze clear on all the bubbles. Here is, I made one of the bubbles into a hidden Mickey. Um, there are stickles on the narwhal's um, little horn. And then my white paint pen. Oh, and also on the seahorses, the un unicorn horse, uni sea unicorn, uh, yeah, whatever, you know, that, that horn too. Again, I used my red and teal and orange. I'm looking forward to our next one. We have another one picked out of this book for June. The next one I have is Reptiloids. I picked two out of this book. They make me laugh every time. I did them both for my ABC color challenge. So for this one, for the letter K, I believe... Why did I choose this one? I think Knight. I think he's a knight. He's got his sword and his special belt and he's got his little cape and his helmet. <laughs> anyway, um, on this one, I just used my Ohuhu's 
uh, Sparkle Pop. And, um, yeah. My white gel pen. And Mickey is down here. This is my favorite one. <laughs> the little, uh, oh, little Jester. He's so, so, so cute. Don't ask me why I chose it for the letter K. But there he is. I think I just picked him because I liked him. But he again, oh, hoo hoo, sparkle pop. One of them said slink, but I don't see the link anywhere. Oh, the link is on the, it's the black on the curtains for this one. On this one. That is Reptiloid by Vasil Seiko. Next book I have for you is Mermaids in Paradise. Um, I have done two pages in here this month. This one I did with all of you on my channel for my ABC Color Challenge Color Along. We colored out of this lovely book. I love how it turned out. Petunia here, the pig. That is her name, Petunia the Pig, because she is in all of Denise Klutz's books. Um, but yeah. I think it, I like how it turned out. What did I do? This one I used, um, Oh Hoo Hoo's in the background. And then the rest of it is all Prismas. And then there's lots of stickles everywhere. Um, glossy accents I did on all the eyes and the little glasses or goggles and my white paint pen everywhere and there is the hidden Mickey is here in the bubbles and then the next one I have for you is a buddy color this one is a buddy color with Corey from colorfully optimistic here on YouTube and Instagram I will put, if I have Corey's, I will put it here. I didn't have it yet, but if I do, when this goes out, I will put it here. But, yeah. I used my ink tents. I do not like how her skin turned out. It is not. I was going for a darker skin tone, but to me, this looks like she has jaundice. <laughs> you can't even see it. Sorry, it wasn't in frame. Anyway, um, stickles. I think this is funny. I love this page. Yep, there are stickles in her hair on the little flower. And then, yeah, and white paint pen. So, and then I believe I went over it. Did I not? Nope, it's just ink tints. So I didn't even go over it with pencil. I did all my shading with my ink tints. Oh, I did a good job. Hmm. Pat on the back. <laughs> but I'm still not too sure with the big areas with the ink tents. It still looks streaky to me. But it's the ocean. Excuse me. <coughs> I got a drink. I have a tickle. Sorry about that. All right, next, Nice Little Town 6. This is a book on my 10 books to complete eventually, and my friend Brandy, over on Instagram, Coloring by Brandy, her and I pick a page out of this book. She is helping me complete it each month, and so we picked this one this month. I will put hers here. So you can see it. I really like how bright mine turned out. It's kind of fun. My color choices, purple and orange. That's another color combo I like together. But I went with oranges in the tree. And so then I went from there and yeah. I just used, oh, I used my Copics and some oh hoos um, it says I used my black Tombow, I think on the shoes and the dots. <clears throat> There's my hidden Mickey. And then white 
gel pen. But yeah. Looks good. I think I was running out of ink. Oops, on my blue. Next month, I am so excited. We're doing my absolute favorite page in this book. The book page. Next one is a big book. Big books, yeah. Whimsical World Big Book by Molly Harrison. This is a buddy color. This is a buddy color with, I'm turning my page, Ren from at Ren Kelly on Instagram. And I will put Ren's here so you can see it. They're very similar. We chose similar colors. I love it. Uh, we did it for my ABC color challenge for Kitty. She's holding a little kitten. Um, it is sticky. I'm going to show you the stuff I used. You tell me if you guys use it and yours stays sticky. I got this. Extreme Glitter. It's a hologram color by Folk Art Acrylic Paint. Paint. And that is what I put on her skirt and on her wings. The skirt feels sticky though. So I don't know if you can see it. It's very, very, very glittery. Anyway. But other than that, I used, um, oh, I used all the pencils, different pencils that I have for my paper and pencil test. I used that pencil case so those that's why it's all pinks and purples <clears throat> though the yellows I'm not sure what ones I used yellows probably Prismacolors because I don't have any yellows in there and then that extreme glitter and then washi tape the pink this pink on the outside is washi tape and then my white gel pen I used it before I put the paint on it on the, on the clouds. I think this though back here is not pencil. It, oh, I think it's the watercolor pencil. I think I activated it. That is Whimsical World Big Book by Molly Harrison. That was an untouched book. This is another untouched book. This one is called Disney's The Most Beautiful Love Stories. And I colored this one. Oh, this might be one of my favorites from the, for the whole month. So cute. This was uh, one of our Disney scavenger hunt prompts for our Facebook group. Kanga. <clears throat> Kingo is a very hard one. She is not in very many of the books. I actually had to use my spreadsheet to find out what books she was in. Um, I used my Distress Inks. This is all Distress Inks back here. It is two different colors. It's red and pink. And then my Prisma colors on... Kinga is in Ruse and my white paint pen and there is my hidden Mickey down here. But this is a good book. It's one of those cardboard ones. Hardback. <clears throat> Next one I have is Gnome Sweet Gnome Coloring Book by Teresa Goodridge. This is a buddy color. This is a buddy color with Maria from at Knots and Tangles by Alicia on Instagram. Um, I don't have her page as of yet. If I get it before this goes up, I will put it here so you can see it. I used my favorite color combo. Um, I think I need this quilt for my bedroom if they make such a thing. <laughs> I really like it. I do have right now the qu my quilt I am using currently is this teal and gray and white, but it needs to have some red on it. I have story time with Megan. I know this video is going to be long, but you know, it's already going to be long. So why not tell you stuff? 
um, I collect the Fiesta, um, kitchen, like, plates, dishes, <clears throat> and I only collect the red, the turquoise, and the gray, which is called Slate, and the red is called Scarlet. I think it's either turquoise or teal. Yeah, but those, because, you know, they come in, like, every color, but I only collect those three colors. What did I use? I used my Copic markers and my Prismacolors and some Sparkle Pop up here. And um, my Arteza Glitter Gel Pen. Not sure where, but I did use it. It says, I think that on, I don't know. And then my white paint pen. Hidden Mickey is right here on the mushroom. And there's a hidden owl down here. You can hardly see him. He blends in. That is Gnome Sweet Gnome by Teresa Goodrich. This next one was supposed to be a buddy color for this month, but we moved it on to next month because I made a boo-boo. It's all my fault. This is Rooms of Wonder by Joanna Bassford. Um, we picked this page over here, but I colored this one. <laughs> so I am so sorry. Um, so next month, my friend, um, yeah, you will see our buddy color. It is this side, not this side. But I, ended, I did this side, so I thought I'd show it to you. I did um, this one. It has um, a kite in it, which is one of our prompts for our scavenger hunts in our Facebook group. And I used my favorite color combo again. You guys are going to be sick of this color combo. It's just when I'm in a rush and I'm tired, I think, okay, these colors look good together. That's what we're doing. But it is all Prismacolors and Sparkle Pop. And white paint pen. And I know I have a hidden Mickey. Oh, it's on the guitar. This is my kind of page though. I like this that have you have where you have lots of things to color. I like that. So that is Rooms of Wonder by Joanna Basford. Next one is 50 Farmer's Miniatures, another one of my 10 books to complete eventually. Um, this is a buddy color with Erica from Elm Colors. I will put hers here. It is also one of her 10 books to complete. So we are helping each other out by picking a page in here every month. Um, yes. They both turned out amazing. Um, I used my cloud stencil with my, um, I didn't even write what I used. With my, it, it looks to me like uh, Distress Inks. It's, if it's not Distress Ink, <sighs> sorry. Let's see if I can find it. Um, I didn't even write it down. So yeah, I'm not sure. It says Copics. So maybe it was alcohol marker. I'm not really sure. But it's all Copics. And then my shading is with Prismacolors. And then there are some link and on there and on the butterflies and I believe this is the silver sparkle pop and then there's my hidden Mickey on the butterfly but I'm, I'm really liking this so what I'm trying to do is so it's not such a big background I'm trying to make a shape around the picture 
That way I know, like I just did a little rectangle, that I don't have to do the whole thing. I've been trying to do that with all of them. But that is 50 Farmers Miniatures by Camellia Angel Cova. The next one is Little Mermaid Friends by Teresa Goodrich. And I colored this one. As you can see, I forgot to do the border again. But this is a buddy color with uh, my friend Sandra at Colorful Diary 2017. I will put Sandra's here so you can see it. They both turned out amazing. Mine is with all Prismacolors and there's some stickles in the middle of her flower and there's stickles on the everywhere there's pearls. And then Sparkle Pop also and white paint pen. And there is the hidden Mickey. That is Little Mermaid Friends by Teresa Goodridge. Uh, next one I have is the Small Squares Disney Art Deco. This is for Pixie's projects. She does a Disney prompt each month. Um, she pulls a character out of a jar. And she pulled the pink one, a red one. It's either Pain or Panic. I think he's Pain. And the blue one's Panic. But don't quote me on that. Hercules is not one of my favorite movies. But you could have also done any Hercules page. But I like to try to find the actual character she pulls out of um, her jar. But the hashtag is... I wrote it down. Pixie's Disney Color Along. And I used my ink tents and my Prismacolors. All the black is my Tombow and my white gel pen. And I did a giant hidden Mickey over here with my black Tombow. But yeah. I think I meant to color this part black too and I forgot. I don't know. But there they are. Pain and Panic from Hercules. Next one I have is another one of the Disney portrait books. This is the mini block Disney portrait book. This is a buddy color with Jody from J.I. Colorist um, here on YouTube and Instagram. I will scoop mine over. I will put hers here so you can see it. Um, I watched her completed pages and um, she said, Megan said Melody. She goes, I just thought it was young Ariel. Melody is Ariel's daughter. And this is from the second movie. Yeah, the second one. Anyway, but yeah, her little girl's name is Melody. And she has brown hair like Prince Eric. And as you can see, I'm trying with that line on the jawline there. Um, I'm, I'm doing better with my skin tones. I'm working on it. Pin Mickey is here. It's all Prismacolors. Oh, it's Ink Tense and Prismacolors. And my white paint pen. There she is. And that is Portraits. This next one is not my favorite. Um, I am not happy with how mine turned out, but you know, they can't all be perfect. I would like them to be, but yeah. This is um, Dragon Dreams by RJ Hampson. This is a buddy color with K, uh, from Color with K. Um, she has been wanting to do this lava page for forever. And so I told her I would do it with her. I have never colored lava before. And yeah, I don't know. And um, it had a border and I didn't want to color it. Um, like I said, I was way behind. I was trying to get it done. So I found a dark washi tape, 
to go on it. I thought it was supposed to be black, but it looks kind of blue compared to this black, so I'm not sure. And then I tried doing clouds with my cloud stencil and my white Prisma, I think. Yeah. Anyway, I believe I based it with Copics and then I went over it um, with Prismas. Yeah. Kay's looks amazing. Um, I don't know if I did already. If I didn't, I will put hers here. I absolutely love how she did her lava and her lava rocks. Like, if I would have done this after the fact, not with her, I would have used hers as a, uh, what do you call it? Drawing a blank. A reference. But, yeah. That's Dragon Dreams by RJ Hampson. This next one, Eerie Pages, is also one of my 10 books to complete eventually. Any Eerie page. And this is a buddy color. This is a buddy color with my friend Jess from At Coloring Bumblebee. I will put hers here. Um, I absolutely love hers. I really, really like how hers turned out. I am not happy with my sky. I am trying, but yeah. I shouldn't have, yeah. I tried to have them like glow around it. I shouldn't have done that. And then this side had more to color. Um, but again, I, you know, I, I wanted to get it done. I wanted to, so I used um, mermaid scale washi tape instead. Um, but yeah, this is the Little Mermaid page and my hidden Mickey is here. So this works for Mermaid and then again, Kathy from Spicy Cat Colors, Little Mermaid. It's for her Spicy Cat Disney. And also um, our Disney scavenger hunt and regular on our Facebook group. That was eerie. This is the fairy tale beyond the world fairy tale stories is the name of that one. Next one is uh, Tales from the City Among the Stars by Hannah Carlson. I like this is another one of my favorite pages I did this month. Um, this is a buddy color with Johanna from Jojo's Johanna. I will put hers here. I love how totally different they are. Mine is very gray and neutral and hers is very bright. I tried to do those, those flowers where they're pink in the middle and yellow on the outside. I think they turned out okay. It is with, um, I'll turn my page. I believe it's Prismacolor. No, it's not. I used my Color 240 set in here. And then there's some Silver Sparkle Pop in different places. And there is, um, on the Kitty's Wings is the Jelly Roll Stardust, the clear. Some Link gel pens. I think Mickey is in the window over here. And link up here in the black. Anyway, I like how it turned out. I like it. That is A City Among the Stars by Hannah Carlson. The next one is Country Farm Scenes by Teresa Goodridge. This is a project book with my friend um, Ilvin at Ilvin's Coloring. Um, she has a YouTube and an Instagram. I got to pick the pages this month. For some reason, I picked chicken pages. Don't ask me why, but I did. So here's the first one. I'll put Ilvin's here so you can see hers. I used my Ohuhu alcohol markers, my Link glitter gel pens, and my white gel pen for accents. A hidden Mickey is on the chicken up here. 
And then this is the second one. I like how this one, I like the colors I used on this one. I will put <clears throat> Eelvins here so you can see it. I used a dark turquoise and a brown, like a warm brown. This is also my Oh Hoo Hoo's. Hid Mickey is here. And the link again on the border. Which turned out really cute too. But that was Country Farm Scenes by Teresa Goodridge. We're almost, uh, we're a fourth, we only, we're three fourths of the way done. Next one I have is A Million Bears by Lulu Mayo. This one is um, my second one with Jamie from Jamie's Coloring Love. I'll put Jamie's here. I did buddy colors with her. She was doing the hashtag May. Mayo in March to May. And um, we did two in this book. This one, we did one last month, which was this one. And then we did this one this month. I like the background. I used my brick stencil and my distress inks. And um, I based it with my Primrosia water base markers. They are these in this beautiful box. I don't really like the markers. <laughs> I'll just tell you that right now. Um, I don't have good, there's, no, there's 60 colors. It's not a like, very good color choice, but I really like the tube that they're in, the container. Um, my hidden Mickey is here. I also, let's see, I use my Prismas for shadowing. Um, there are is some Malink glitter gel pen and my white paint pen. But yeah, I messed up right here. This is supposed to be the handle of the cup and I colored it brown like it was a tail and that's a bear. Bears don't have long tails like that. Yeah, I struggled this month, I really did. Oh, sorry, that was loud. Next one is Aria Vale by Chroma. This is for Pixie Project. She does picks a page out of this book every month for complete Aria Vale. And this time she picked Fresh from the Tree, Juice Page. So, yes, I picked. Uh, da, 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 da. It's my Ohuhus and my Copic markers and my white gel pen. Yep. My hidden Mickey is on the sign over here. And then next month, I already colored the one we're doing. She's doing. Where, where could it be? She said she's going to pull the ones because some of us have already done it. I don't know where it is. Maybe it's before it. My tummy's making noises. This one, this is this, this is for June. But I already did it. So I have a month off, but I might color another one in it anyway. I need to take this off. I'm doing a new thing with my washi tape. I'm putting washi tape on my untouched books, not my colored in books. But I haven't gone through all my books to do that yet. <clears throat> Anyway, moving along. Le Grand Classics Tomb 9. Um, I color out of this book with my friend Steph from Color with Steph every month. We pick two care two pages in here that have to do with my ABC color challenge. So the first one was Coda. Coda from Brother Bear. I use all acrylic markers in these books, mostly. This one was not acrylic markers. And my hidden Mickey. I tried using my black Tombow, but it, it doesn't want to go on the paint. But um, that's with the white instead. So it's like a double duo there of hidden Mickeys. This is an old one. I did uh, Crayolas, I think, on that one. And then Kristoff. 
he has a weird mouth. And then there was this random one over here. I didn't get that. Maybe that was a mistake. So, yeah. Anyway, here he is. Hey, Mickey's there. Oh, wait. We have to go back. I'm going to put <laughs> Steph's here so you can see it. And then I will put her Kristoff here so you can see it. So that is Le Grand Classique's two at nine. The sixth one is Le Grand Classique's Tomb Three. And um my friend Laura, Laura Cat Colors, and I pick two pages out of here every month to go with my ABC color challenge. And again, my bad month. Um, she asked me to pick pages, and I thought I responded but didn't hit send. And so at the end of the month, when I went to show her my completed pages, I realized I never answered her and I felt so bad. So Laura, if you're watching this, I am so sorry. I did send her my pages. Um, so it's my fault that I don't have hers. Um, I never responded and I feel really, 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 really bad. But the ones I, um, I chose was um, another Kristoff. And again, I use, um, here's my hidden Mickey. It's acrylic paint pens. And then second one was King Candy, who looks drunk. <laughs> hmm. I really like this movie. If you guys have not seen Wreck-It Ralph, it is really cute. I like both of them. I almost kind of like the second one better, but Look at Ralph, something about the internet. Yeah. But, so that is tomb three. Next one I have, oh, we're almost there, is The Way Home by Morgan O'Brien. This one is a uh, color along that Johanna from JoJo's Johanna, she picks a page out of this book every month for Grogu in 2022. This is the page she picked for May. And she also has a color one, which is Morgan O. Color Challenge. Uh, I believe there's a 2023. I'm not positive. Don't quote me on that. Yes, 2023. And she chose purple. And I'm going to say that I could not remember the color she chose. And I forgot to write it down. And I just randomly chose purple. And it was purple. And it was like, yeah. <laughs> it was a oops. Happy oops, but oops. There's my hidden Mickey. It is all Ohuhu markers and my white gel pen. Oh, look, there's another one. I have two. See, I did it again. Anyway, cute little Grogu. She picked the page this month that I have to fix. Um, I think I showed it to you before. This one. No, she didn't. No, it wasn't that one she picked. Never mind. I don't remember which one. It's him and another something character. I think it's this one. This is June's. But anyway, The Way Home from Morgan O'Brien. Then I have Sea of Colors by Angela Gonzalez. And this one is one... Um is another uh, color along that Amanda from Amanda Colors does on her channel. And <clears throat> she picks a page out of this book each month. So she picked the mermaid with the watermelon. She actually puts up a poll, uh, a poll on her community tab for people to vote on which one. Of course, every time I, mine so far have never won. I'm in the minority. <laughs> But uh, here it is. I used my ink tents and my Prisma colors and a white gel pen. And my hidden Mickey is here. Hopefully you guys can see that. But yeah. So there is that one. 
The next one I have is my Floating Mandalas by Tabitha Barnett. And this one is also for a man, one of Amanda's hashtags, the AC Palette Challenge. She did palette number 42. She picks um, a color palette out of the color cubes each month. And this is the one I did for that. If um, I have a picture of it, I will put a picture of the palette here so you can see it. And then um, I already showed this last month because I had colored it just so you guys could see what I meant. But I have a new hashtag going. It is Meg's Disney Mandala Challenge 2023. And I'm picking a Disney character every month. And um, we use that character for our color palette for our mandala. It can be any mandala. So for May, it was Snow White. So here is my Snow White mandala. And next month is a Donald Duck, and it will be on this one. So I am going to be doing a slideshow of everybody's mandalas and coloring this with all of you in my Donald Duck colors. It's going to be interesting because his colors are not really flower colors. It's a challenge, but that's why it's a challenge. So that is Floating Mandalas by Tabitha Barnett. The next one I have is Benny Blue by Christine Karen. Um, this is one of my 10 books to complete eventually. And here is my page, Kiss the Cook for my letter K. He is so cute. I used my Ohuhu markers. He is making cookies. This is cookie dough in here. And he's got some carrots. I'm guessing they're carrot cookies. Um, so it's my Who markers and it's the Link um, glitter gel pens. Here is my hidden Mickey over here. He is so, so cute. And then <clears throat> two more. We're almost there. Country Chibis, another one of my 10 books to complete eventually. I did this one for my ABC K for knitting. She's knitting a scarf. I used my Oh Hoo Hoo's and it's also with Amanda's um, AC palette challenge and uh, washi tape. And again, I cut around it. I need to show you guys how I do that with the washi tape. There is a hidden Mickey here, but I didn't need to put it on there because in the middle of all the flowers are Mickey Mouses. I don't know if you guys can see that. So they have their own hidden Mickeys. So last but not least was for this week's title page Tuesday. This is a never been touched book. This is Kawaii Animal Coloring Book by Lauren K. And I did the title page. Is that not cute? Of the little sloth. I used my Ohuhu's and then I used my Jelly Roll Stardust on the stars. And that is all of my completed pages. I am so sorry this video is so long. I know every month it's long. I say that every month. So hopefully June is a better month. Um, and I don't feel so behind, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments below, which page was your favorite this month. And if you made it all the way to the end, let me know if you watched it all the way to the end. I'd love to see who actually watches this really long video. <laughs> But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you're notified when I post new videos. And the thumbs up that you liked it. Um, that really does help my channel. And comments. I love getting comments. Even a hello. They make my day. I enjoy making these videos and talking to all of you. And I look forward to talking to you all real soon. Bye.